So the foam movement starts mainly from the CMC joint, carpal metacarpal joint. And even though it is interesting for you to think like mm -hmm. that so that you're going to have this action, always think about your thumb that is all of this, that's, so that mm -hmm. everything that you play, you're going to use this sort of movement. If you are feeling pain around this area, it means that probably you are over overdoing the adduction movement. If you are feeling pain here, it means that you are trying to isolate the thumb movements from this articulation, okay? And the other things that you can think about the movements of the thumb in terms of the flexion movement, it also starts mainly from this articulation, but of course you can also flex from this articulation, okay? Um, when playing things that are slow and that you, are, you want a legato sound, pr especially things like arpeggio, probably you are going to have to place your thumb underneath your hand so that you're going to have something like this. Uh, but it depends on what you're playing uh, in terms of the speed at which you want to play that because if you want to play something like this If you try to place your thumb like this and have this sort of movement when playing slow it works like But if you want to go faster with that It is going to look like like that and it is going to sound like that so the movements of the thumb depends on the speed that you are going to play because the faster you are going to play, the less movement here you are going to use. The same thing for this adduction from the CMC joint. The faster you want to play in terms of uh, chromatic scales or things like that, in which, by the way, requires a lot of this movement of the thumb, the less adduction movement you use, the less movement like that you are going to use. So what is the solution for, uh, in terms of playing arpeggios and things like that? Okay, so. First thing, in terms of the adduction, the solution is that you are going to use all of this so that you are going to have this way of action instead of this or instead of this. And in terms of the flexion movements of the thumb, in terms of being able to play things that are fast, uh, you are not going to be able to do all of this movement and you are also you also uh, don't need all of this wrist movement because of course, if you want to play legato uh, slowly, this arpeggio without pedal, you necessarily have to shift your hand like this. You have, uh, you need this wrist movement and you also need this elbow movement because otherwise, at least in my hand, I can't reach this note here, you know? I, I cannot reach just by doing so, you know? Because this position is not enough for me. So I have to go something like that. So if I, I would play in a very slow tempo, I would use kind of like this movement in which I am also using the elbow movement. But if you try to play fast like this, it won't work. So what is the solution for this kind of thing? It is more about moving uh, the, um, the thumb slowly, but you're not going to put the elbow underneath your hand so that you're going to have this way of action in which you have more of this way of moving instead of this wrist movement so that you are going to have things like that. So ideally in cases like that, it is best for you to work in a staccato way or in a purling way so that you're not going to try to hold the keys like this so that you're going to have this way of finger action, by the way, so you can work like this so that you're going to have like, Okay, so this is something that is very important. Uh, there are some exercises that you can do, especially if you are having trouble in using this wrist movement, because in terms of the movements of the thumb, it is not just a matter of flexing the thumb. You should also use the wrist movement in order for you to be able to reach here. So some kind of exercise that you can use here is that you can come here and you can still keep going here as if you are trying to open a bottle of water because most people they try to play like this they and they become like this so what is lacking here is that it is this form of putting the wrist in a way that you are going to help to play with your thumb that is lacking here. So in, in, in order for you to develop this flexibility, which is not actually flexibility, it's a movement that we are doing. If we think about using this way of action so that you still come going far, far away like this. So, okay. And here you are moving a lot of the wrist movement and also the elbow, but make sure that you're not doing something like this because if I do something like this, I am moving too much the elbow, but I am almost not moving the wrist. And just like this it is also bad because I'm just forcing my wrist and not moving my elbow. So I have to use the combination of those so that I am using hands, fingers, wrist, and forearm as a unit.